Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome back to the channel. So for anyone who has been paying attention to the stock market over the past couple of days, stocks have started dropping. And the S&P 500 is down roughly 4% from its highs just a couple of days ago. Also, we have big names like Apple and Tesla that have both taken big hits over the last two days. Now, that being said, I am not someone who likes to get stuck in negative thinking, and I don't like to panic. Instead, I like to think of myself as an optimist, or in other words, Words, I like to think of myself as someone who looks for solutions instead of complaining about problems. And when it comes to the stock market right now, I think this is the best attitude you can have. Because when it comes to the stock market, there are always ways to make money despite what the stock market as a whole does. So yesterday when I was doing research and I came across a new EV stock that is set to go public later this year, I thought to myself that this could be a good opportunity to make some money while the stock market as a whole was dropping. And I'm not the only one who felt this way. In fact, if we look at the chart for this new EV stock, we can see that the price has jumped 120% in just two days alone. So in this video, I will explain what this new EV company does, how they will plan on going public, and what the potential gains are for this stock moving forward. Now, one thing that caught my eye about this new EV company is that it is being backed by Bill Gates. And if you don't know who Bill Gates is, that's okay. He is one of the original founders of a company you might have heard of before called Microsoft. So not sure if you've heard of Microsoft or not, but this is a big deal in my opinion to have a guy like Bill Gates as one of your backers. In addition to Bill Gates, German car company Volkswagen is also an early investor. So what is this new EV company and what products do they have planned? Well, the company is called QuantumScape and they have been working on developing battery technology since 2010. And the main battery tech they have been working on is a solid state battery. Now, QuantumScape is not the only technology company that is working on developing a solid state battery. Other companies such as Ionic Materials, Solid Energy, and Prieto Battery are all working on solid state versions, but none of them are publicly traded companies. Also, other small startups working on solid state batteries have been acquired in recent years by Dyson and Bosch. If you remember, Dyson was a company that tried to build their own electric car from scratch, with James Dyson actually putting 600 million of his own personal money into the project before pulling the plug. But there are some bigger players in this space who are trying to be the first to develop solid state batteries as well. And I should specify that solid state batteries do exist and are currently used in small devices such as pacemakers. But making solid state batteries big enough to power an electric car is still not economically viable. The big companies that are currently investing in solid state batteries include many of the large car companies and many companies that already make lithium ion batteries for smartphones and cars, such as Panasonic. You can see here this pie chart shows a sampling of the different companies that are currently working towards developing solid state batteries for use in EVs. According to this chart, 50% are big companies, which we can assume Tesla is working on solid state batteries, even though they are not included here. 37% are R&D, which includes a lot of universities, and only 13% are startups, which include QuantumScape. So as you can see, there are a lot of different companies working towards commercializing these solid state batteries. So let's get into some of the advantages of solid state batteries over the current lithium ion batteries being used in cars right now. One of the biggest advantages and the biggest reasons that so many companies are investing in solid state batteries right now is the improvements in energy density. This is the most important factor in my opinion because a higher energy density means that battery packs can be smaller and have much higher ranges. And when it comes to electric cars, these two things are very important. Now, there are some downsides as well, most notably cost, but that is to be expected with any new technology. If you want the latest and greatest tech, you will have to pay more. But right now, solid state batteries are not ready for large scale applications since the price is still out of range for even the wealthiest of buyers. So there is still a lot of work to be done before we will see solid state batteries being used in electric cars. Now, getting back to what I was saying earlier, there are many advantages to using solid state batteries over lithium ion batteries. The advantages include increased energy density, which we already mentioned, but also lower charging times and higher safety standards. All three of these things are really big improvements and would make electric cars a lot more appealing and practical for consumers. 
Now, the bad news is that there are still a lot of challenges when it comes to these solid state batteries. One of these is solid state's batteries' ability to hold charge in cold weather. This is because solid state batteries do not run as hot as lithium ion batteries, which is usually a good thing and lowers the risk of fires. But the problem is that conductivity inside of batteries is linked to temperature. So as the temperature inside of the battery is lowered, the conductivity of the battery itself will also drop, and therefore the range of the car will also drop. From here, I could go into some pretty nerdy stuff about how exactly solid state batteries work and the challenges of finding materials that are thermodynamically stable enough to use with lithium, but I don't think it's necessary to go that much into detail, and honestly, it would probably bore you guys. It doesn't personally bore me because I have a degree in mechanical engineering and I did take thermodynamics one and two as part of my degree. So I find all of this stuff really interesting, but the easiest way for you to understand the challenges facing solid state state batteries is to look at the projected dates for commercialization. The target date that companies like QuantumScape have for commercialization is around 2025. And keep in mind that these timelines are usually more optimistic because companies are trying to build up anticipation for their products. And it's really hard for investors like you and me to get excited about a product that is 10 years away, for example. So in my opinion, I would add a couple of years to even the 2025 target to get the real target date. But not only is the target date out in 2027 most likely, we also don't know how long it will take before solid state batteries will become widely available. It might be that once they become commercially viable, that they are still more expensive than lithium ion batteries. So basically what I'm trying to say here is that it's uncertain how good of a long-term investment QuantumScape is right now because there are too many unknowns. Also, holding a stock that is not expected to have a commercially viable product until 2025 at the earliest is very risky. And honestly, it is the same issue I have with Nikola stock. Like I said in one of my previous videos, Nikola doesn't have any products yet, and we also don't know when they will start manufacturing products in the future. So basically, when you invest in a company that doesn't sell any products, you are not investing in a company, but rather the promise of a future company. And this is a confusing point, but it, it's, it's really simple. The definition of a business slash company is an organization that provides a good or service in order to earn a profit. So basically when you are investing in a company like Nikola or QuantumScape, you are almost always speculating, which carries with it a high risk of losing all your money. Proper investing, not speculating, involves buying stocks of companies that actually provide a product or service to customers. Now, it sounds like I'm being really critical of QuantumScape, but really what I'm trying to do is help you think in terms of risk management. Every company should invest in R&D in order to keep developing new products. But when a company doesn't have any revenue coming in from products it sells, then it doesn't have any money to invest in R&D. And the only way that a company like Nikola or QuantumScape can get money for their R&D is to raise it from other companies or people. So the risk of investing in a company like QuantumScape comes from their lack of revenue. If their efforts to build a solid state battery fail and they don't get any more outside investment, then they will go bankrupt. And that means you would lose all your money if you invested in them. For this reason, I would not recommend investing in QuantumScape as a long-term investment right now. I would plan to buy and hold for a short period of time and then either sell right before or after they merge with KCAC stock, which is expected to happen sometime later this year, but the official date has not been released. So long-term investment, I wouldn't recommend them, but as a short-term investment, there is some money that could be made here. So buying KCAC as a short-term play might be profitable for you, but the one thing I would worry about is volatility. If we look at the ticker for Hylion, which right now is Shill, S-H-L-L, which, like I said, is the acquisition company that will merge with Hylion, we can see that there has been a lot of volatility in its stock. Shill stock shot up 211% from June 18th to June 29th before falling 43% over the next month. So if you bought at the peak in June, you would have been down almost 50% and it would have been very difficult to not give in and sell. But if you were able to hold on, you would have been generously rewarded by another 200% run in the stock. 
Nikola, another company that went public via a reverse merger, was up over 670% before falling over 50%. So as you can see, it's really hard to predict the price movements in these stocks, and it is very easy to lose a lot of money if you time your entry and exit points wrong. That's why I don't do short-term plays and why I really try hard to find investments that are long-term winners. That way I can put my money in, not have to worry about the stock dropping, and consistently make money year after year. That is unless, of course, the whole stock market tanks. Then everyone is in trouble. One of the other things that you have to keep in mind is that just because Bill Gates is investing in QuantumScape does not mean you should. Bill Gates has a net worth of around $115 billion. So for him to invest $100 million, let's say, would be nothing to him. So Bill Gates does not care one bit if he loses his entire investment because it is so small of an investment to him to begin with. It would be the same thing as you investing $87 in QuantumScape in a portfolio worth $100,000. Also, let's take a quick look at Bill Gates' track record when it comes to some other battery startups that he has invested in. Back in 2013, Gates invested in battery startup Aquion, which was a developer of environmentally sustainable batteries. These batteries were supposed to use non-toxic materials like salt water, cotton, dirt, and carbon to conduct electricity. But by 2017, Aquion announced bankruptcy. And there have been many more startups that Gates has invested in that have suffered the same fate. Now, I am not against battery technology. In fact, I am one who roots for battery developers to succeed. But the fact remains that people like Bill Gates and other rich businessmen such as Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson are not investing in these startups to get their money back, but rather to speed up the rate of innovation. So for investors like you and I who don't have the luxury of throwing money around to try and solve the world's problems, it is best to leave this speculative investing to Bill Gates and his friends. Now for long-term investors, I do think it is possible to benefit from battery breakthroughs such as solid state batteries without taking on speculative investments like QuantumScape. This is because any advancements in battery tech will ultimately help electric car manufacturers and hurt car companies that still rely on making gasoline cars. And right now the leader in the electric car space is Tesla. And I know that it is hard right now to buy Tesla considering how much shares have run up over the past year, but long-term Tesla is the best investment if you believe battery technology will improve significantly over the next five years. And with Tesla stock taking a hit from the stock split and the $5 billion capital raise, this might be a great time to buy Tesla stock. And for anyone who can't bring themselves to buy Tesla because they think the valuation is too high, you have to keep in mind that Tesla still doesn't really have a serious competitor on a global scale. The largest car manufacturers in the world are still refusing to switch their focus from gasoline to electric, and this gives Tesla a huge advantage. Tesla is the leader in the electric car space, and I only see them continuing to solidify their position over the next five to 10 years because all the other car companies, like I said, are not really competing with them. So if anyone is going to benefit from battery breakthroughs, it is going to be Tesla who benefits disproportionately compared to all of the other car manufacturers. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also let me know what you think about QuantumScape in the comment section below. Are you planning on buying some shares or are you staying away? Also, I have been thinking about creating a Patreon so I can share with you guys whenever I buy or sell a stock. So if that is something that you would like uh, for me to do, just let me know in the comment section as well. And with that, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.